Welcome to my class on calculating pH and pOH. The pH scale shows the representation of acidity or alkalinity. It ranges from 0 to 14, with 0 to 6 showing acidic substances and 8 to 14 showing alkaline substances. The pH of 7 shows a neutral substance. In calculating pH and pOH of substances, the following six equations can easily be applied. Equation one says, pH equals negative log of hydrogen ion concentration. Equation two, pOH is negative log of hydroxide ion concentration. Equation three, pH plus pOH equals 14. Equation four, hydrogen ion concentration multiplied by hydroxide ion concentration equals 10 exponential minus 14. Equation five, hydrogen ion concentration equals 10 exponential minus pH. Equation six, hydroxide ion concentration equals 10 exponential minus pOH. Now, let's take an example in calculating pH and pOH. Example one says, calculate the H plus, OH minus, pH, and pOH of a solution corresponding to 0.002 molar sodium hydroxide. Pause this video to write the question down. Now, the question gave us 0.002 molar sodium hydroxide solution. According to Arrhenius' concept, if a base is dissolved in water, it should dissociate into ions. NaOH dissociates in water to form Na plus and OH minus. Now, this NaOH is 0.002 molar, and this is 1 ratio 1 ratio 1. Therefore, our OH minus will also be 0.002 molar. Our first answer is OH minus equals 0.002 molar. We've answered one part of the question. Now, since OH minus is 0.002 molar, equation 4, equation 4 from our equations says H plus multiplied by OH minus should give us 10 exponential minus 14. Therefore, H plus equals 10 exponential minus 14 divided by OH minus. Our OH minus is 0 0.002. So that is 10 exponential minus 14 divided by 0 0.002. Now we've been able to deduce OH minus as 0.002 molar, H plus as 5 times 10 to the power minus 12 molar. From equation 1, from equation 1, pH equals negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. Okay, therefore, we can calculate pH since we now have H plus. That is negative logarithm of 5 times 10 to the power minus 12. Negative logarithm of 5 exponential minus 12. That means pH equals 11.30. This answers the third part of the question. pH equals 11.3. Now, to answer the last part of the question, let's use equation 3. Equation 3 says pH plus pOH equals 14. Okay, so our pH is 11.3. pOH is unknown, equals 14. Therefore, pOH is 14 minus 11.3. pOH equals 2.70. This answers the last part of the question. So we've been able to deduce all these values from 0.002 molar sodium hydroxide solution. Our OH minus concentration is 0.002. H plus 5 times 10 to the power minus 12 molar. pH is 11.3 and pOH is 2.7. This shows that 0.002 molar sodium hydroxide is a strong alkali. 0.002 molar sodium hydroxide is a strong alkali with pH 11.3. Example two, calculate the pH and pOH 
of a solution containing five exponential minus three molar sulfuric acid. Pause this video to write the question down. Question two give us five exponential minus three molar sulfuric acid. Now, according to Arrhenius concept, if a substance dissolves in water, it splits into ions. This is H plus and SO4 two minus. This is H2, therefore we have two H plus and SO4 two minus. The concentration for the H2SO4 is five exponential minus three, that is 0 0.005. Since this is ratio one to two, the hydrogen ion concentration will be two times 0 0.005. This gives us 0 0.01 molar. Therefore, our H plus ion concentration is 0 0.01 molar. This answers the first part of the question. Now let's calculate for OH minus. Our H plus is 0 0.001. From equation four, we know that H plus multiplied by OH minus gives us 10 exponential minus 14. Our H plus is 0 0.01. So that's 0 0.01 multiplied by OH minus equals 10 exponential minus 14. Therefore, OH minus ion equals 10 exponential minus 14 divided by 10 exponential minus 2. The answer here is 10 exponential minus 12. So OH minus is 10 exponential minus 12 molar concentration. So we've been able to deduce hydrogen ion concentration as 0 0.01, hydroxide ion concentration as 10 exponential minus 12 molar. From equation one, let's identify, from equation one, identify pH, negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. Since our H plus is 0 0.01, pH equals negative log of 0 0.01. Negative log of 0 0.01. That gives us pH equals 2. So we have H plus OH minus, and we have pH. Now let's identify POH. From equation 3, From equation three, we know that pH plus pOH equals 14. Our pH is two. We want to identify pOH. So this is, pOH is 14 minus two. That gives us 12. From all calculations, H plus is 0 0.01 molar. OH minus is 10 exponential minus 12 molar. pH is two. POH is 12. This substance is a strongly acidic substance with a pH of 2. Therefore, 0 0.005 molar sulfuric acid is a strong acid. 